So now I'm going to go through the lines 201 through 249, in which we find the attack of Laocoon underway after he has badmouthed the, of course, uh, horse that was left on the beach by the Greek. So it says, Laocoon, having been led, this is more like having been selected, even though it is from Duco Ducere Duxiductus, as the priest, Sacerdos is nominative. It's a priest, and the genitive would be Sacerdotis. And that way it is going to be having been chosen, having been led as the priest for Neptune in the date of case, by lot, sorte, he was slaughtering Maktaba to a huge bull, accusative, at the solemn altars, Aras. Behold, however, gave any angues, twin snakes, uh, dragons, if you would like, from Tinidas, Atenedo, through the tranquil deeps, Bringing it back, and in other words, recalling it. Remember, he is telling a story, and the banquet, and all of this is a part of the story that he is telling. I shudder, horesco, which of course is an inceptive verb. They, those twin angues, with huge coils, immenses, huge, orbibus coils, they lie upon, on the sea, and equally, they stretch towards the shores. And so in this way, obviously, they are kind of as a pair, twin, gamini, as it said a second ago. So we continue on in the next slide, 206. In a second I'll get there. Those snakes whose chests, or the chests of whom, erecta, having been lifted up, having been erected, raised, in between the waves, and que, their bloody, sanguinei is the adjective from sanguinis, which means blood, but sanguineus, it means bloody, and their bloody crests, the crests are the, the combs of their head, they overcome the waves. And the remaining part, pars ketera, skims the sea from behind. Pone is an adverbial word here that means from behind. And legit is not read or select, but skims, skims the pontoon, the sea. And it, the remaining part interweaves its huge backs, accusative, plural, neuter, in a coil or with a volume. A sound goes down. Remember, this is the verb, fio fieri factusum. That means to happen, to go down, to be made. It is the passive of facio facere feci factus on the foaming sea. And now they were holding the fields, our womb is a field or land, they've made landfall, and having been drenched, if you would like, having been suffused, if you would like, a perfect passive participle. But it is going to be medio passive, because we have accusative of the body part. So having been suffused, stained, with respect to their burning eyes, accusative of the body part, with blood and with fire, they were licking, lambebat, their sibilla, aura, their hissing mouths, with vibrating tongues. We run away from the sight. Remember, you take the fourth principal part of a verb, video videri, weedy visus, and make it into a fourth declension noun. And we, the bloodless ones, because of how scared they are, those guys, in a certain battle line, and they make a beeline, as what we would say, they seek. Leahuan. And so the point here with that Agmene Kerto is the fact that obviously they could eat the nearest person, but no, it is an intentional attack, and an intentional attack on Leahuan himself. And et Uterque Serbanes, each snake having embraced Amplector, Amplecti, Amplexusum, the small bodies. Of the two sons, first of all, it implicates. Each snake interweaves those small bodies, and each snake feeds upon pasco, pascare. Here it is the deponent, pascor. The miserable limbs, artus, with a bite, morsu. And afterwards, uh, so the next thing that goes down is that they, meaning the snakes, they grab him himself, leahua. Coming for help, eo ire ii, and this is the present active participle. For eo ire, ienes is the nominative, going, 
And then all of the rest of them have a on tis, a on t, a on tim, and so forth and so on, and sub on the front, going for the purpose of help. And they grab him, the one bringing weapons. And they bind, they tie up him himself, Spiris and Gadibus, with huge coils, spirals. And now they, the ones, same as here, having embraced a perfect passive looking participle, his middle two times, and two times having been given, do, dar, de, didatus, around, and when it having been given around, it means having encircled his neck, or having encircled on his neck, a colum coli, twice, with respect to their accusative of the body part, scaly, squamous, backs. They overcome him, superant, with their head, they're coming to bite him down like that, and with their tall necks. So a colum coli is a neck, and a carewix, carewickus, is a neck as well. And that guy. And so obviously, it is a horrible scene in which they are going to not only eat both him, but also his two little sons. And that's the first thing that Virgil mentions, is the two little boys. That guy, referring to Laathlon, he strives, he stretches to rip the wello de wellere, the knots, that'd be the knots of the snakes, with his hands, ablative, having been poured through, having been drenched, with respect to his headbands, an accusative of the body part, because the headband is an extension of the body, with goop, gore, blood, yuckiness, and with black venom, ater, atra, atrum, dark or black. And at the same time, he lifts up tolo, tolore, systole sublatus, lifts up horrendous shouts to the stars, ad sidra, just like the mooings, just like the bellowings. And this word, qualis, what sort of mooings, what sort of bellowings, introduces, obviously, a simile. And so, what sort of mooings, when a wounded bull has escaped, has fled the altar, and has shaken off, excuse it, the inaccurate axe from his neck. And so what we were describing is that he is himself acting like a sacrifice, which he is the sacrifice required for Troy to fall and those horses to be brought in. Continuing on, scroll down just a wee bit. There we go. At Gaini Dracones. But the twin dragons, they escape to the highest shrines, temples, lapsu, fourth principal part or third of the deponent verb, labor labi lapsus, which means to slip, so that's a slithering, a slipping. But the twin dragons escape to the highest shrines with a slithering, and they seek the citadel of savage Tritonis. This is another name for Minerva. And it is, of course, Minerva to whom supposedly the horse was dedicated. Nevertheless, and they are covered, tego tegere, texi tectus. They are covered under the feet of the goddess and under the orb of the shield. Tomb wero. Continuing on. Then truly. Because now you have the reaction of everybody who's just witnessed this. They have just murdered, eaten Leotuan, and then gone as though of approval to the temple of Minerva to whom the horse was supposedly dedicated. Then truly, a new fear, it insinuat, interweaves through the trembling hearts for everybody. Kunkti, kunktai, kunkta. It's the word that means all. And they say, Pharaoh, Pharaoh, to Lilatus can often mean to say. And here it does in this context, and it's going to introduce an accusative subject, which is a Greek accusative. They say that Leakawan, the one earning it, present active participle, merio merere, it's where we get the word merit. Merit is something you earn. Deserving it, earning it, has paid the crime. We would say idiomatically has paid for the crime. A perfect infinitive, as you can see with the essay. Pendo pendere, whenever it's obviously in terms of like a penalty 
It's going to mean to pay. Usually it means to hang. Scalus is the accusative, a third declension, neuter. Laocoon, who did harm Lido, Lydere, Lysi. So here you can see it's a perfect stem and a perfect subjunctive ending. Who did harm the sacred oak with his spear. So they say he had it coming to him because he's the one that defiled this object. And did hurl Torqueo, Torquere, Torsi. So again, a perfect subjunctive in which you have the perfect stem, the subjunctive ending, Erim, Eris, Erit. Who did hurl the wicked spear in its back. They shout that... And here, to this gerundive, this future passive participle, add an essay to make a paraphrastic. And again, when you add a form of the verb to be to the gerund of gerundive, it's going to show obligation. They shout that the accusative image must be led to the seats, that is, the heart of the city. And they shout that the accusative divine powers of the goddess must be prayed to, or orare, must be beseeched, must be begged. We divide the walls, and we open up, pando, pandere, the walls of the city. Moenia always means city walls, as it were. Now, okingon omnes. Omnes is everybody, meaning those that are the Trojans to help with bringing in this object. And kingo kingere kinksi, kinktus, means to insur in encircle. That's why, of course, uh, uh, when your hair has little bitty ringlets or curls, it's kinky. And it comes from that. So all gird up, all encircle themselves for the work. That's like to roll up the sleeves or to tie your shirt around you tightly because you're about to do some physical work, physical activity. So all gird for the work. And they throw, yakio yakare, yehi yaktus, and they throw the lapsus. Remember from labor labi, laps assume to slip slippages of wheels under the feet of the horse. And they stretch intendant hip chains on the neck. Colum coli, it's where we get the word collar. The fatalis machina, the fatal machine. It towers the walls. Uh, Scandit means to tower above, climbs the walls even. Pregnant feta with weapons. Boys all round and unwed girls, we get the word nuptials from that. They sing sacred things, sacred songs. And they rejoice to touch tango, tangere, titigi, tactus. And this word tango, Tangere, before we get the word tangent, when you put a prefix on the front very often, you'll have a vowel alternation, and it turns into an I for an A, but it's tango. Something is tactile, it's to the touch. They rejoice, gaudent, second conjugation, thus present, to touch the rope with their hand. That one, referring, of course, still to the machine. It comes, subit, it goes. It goes under, if you would like to include the sub. And menacing, it glides to the middle city, your date of direction. Oh, fatherland. Oh, Troy. And then this is merely in a positive, telling you what Troy is. The house of the gods. And oh, the walls of the Dardanians, those walls renowned in war. Ablative of specification, telling you in what way that adjective is applicable. He calls out to all of them, apostrophe all three, because none of them are there. To hear him, and this is of course Aeneas telling the story in the banquet, bemoaning of what has gone down and the destruction and holocaust of not only his city but his people. Four times, quater, ipso in limine, on the threshold itself of the gate, genitive, it substituted it, it stopped. And four times. The weapons gave Dodar Dedigatus a sound from the womb. And so they should have known. It was an omen, a bad omen. If you're going over the threshold, you're not supposed to stub your toe. That's why there's the tradition of the bride being carried over the threshold by the groom. Because if she stumbles, that's a bad omen, won't be able to have children, stuff like that. And so, we, however, in Stamus, unmindful, not even paying attention, unmindful, and blind with madness, we press on in sto in stare, and we set up that unlucky monster on 
ablative the sacred citadel. Then even Cassandra, remember the daughter of Priam, who was cursed by Apollo after he was, she was blessed by Apollo. Blessed because she can see the future. She has the gift of prophecy, but cursed because she didn't follow in through with her end of the deal to receive that gift. And so she is always cursed, as it says in the next line, never to be believed, even though she always tells the truth. So then even Cassandra opens up a period, a period with the fates, the ones about to be future active participle, and she opens up her mouth with the fates about to be, she, Cassandra, nom umquam credida, not ever having been believed by the two creeds, by order of the god. And that god here is Apollo, the one that has obviously first blessed her with the gift and then cursed her that nobody would ever believe her. So a couple more lines, and we'll be done with this section. We, the nos that you see there, and I know that it is we because we look at our verb volarus with vela volare. This is that action of what you do to a sheet when you're putting it on a bed. I like to use the word festoon, which is essentially like to decorate. So we, the miserable ones, that modifies our subject, festoon the shrines of the gods. Plural accusative, plural genitive, deorum. We festooned it festa from day with festive foliage throughout the city. We do that. We, for whom, date of case, illadies that day, eset, imperfect subjunctive, the present infinitive plus a new, was the ultimus, the last. All right. Good luck. Study.